In the first example, we loaded a single monochrome channel, R7.tif, into Iris, adjusted the threshold visual levels, made it monochrome, and saved it as a pick. Doing the same for the green and blue, we're now able to perform an RGB combine. To do this, browse to Iris's view folder and down to LRGB. Type the values corresponding to the RGB file names that you gave, in my case R7, G7, and B7. Then press apply and what you'll notice is that the monochrome channel loaded already into memory suddenly becomes a slightly off color but a synthetic RGB image. If we needed to play with the alignment or difference between the pixel values of the red, green, and blue individual channels, change the step to something other than zero. I'll use 10 to illustrate how this works and move the green to the left. Select the green radio button. Now you can pan that particular channel around relative to the other channels. Changing the step will allow for finer or coarser movements. When you have it lined up the way you like, simply press OK. Now we're going to do this in a different way using a script. The script will allow us to take the original Registax loaded files and automatically convert them to PIC and adjust the threshold values. Also set the black point or black and white value and perform the tricolor image functions that we have here. To do this we're going to use the script that was provided and make sure you set the folder properly in the settings from the first video. Then bring up the command window in Iris by pressing this button here. Now simply type run. That tells Iris to execute a particular script from the folder that we specified and the script name without the extension, in our case, planet. Now what you'll notice is that the image loaded into memory here will disappear and the original image will return back. To illustrate this, I'll delete the pic files that were here from before. That happened relatively rapidly, and there are a few files left over in the folder here that can be cleaned up later. But there are also some additional files that were saved here with a zero, indicating that no wavelets were applied but they are true red, green, and blue images. In the next example, we're going to look at Iris as a processing application.